Hello you guys, so at the moment I'm thinking of kind of dipping my toe into the whole television reviewer scene. Um, I basically just watch so much television. I have so many ideas, so many theories, so many questions and thoughts and opinions and just my mind is just like a big bundle of ideas and um, sometimes you just kind of need to get it all out there, you know? I mean, if you choose to, it's it's not for everyone. But um, recently, I think it was because of Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con kind of unleashed so much information at once. Typically, I'm a bit on the outside when it comes to comic book stuff because of the fact that I wasn't necessarily brought up in that culture. My father is an avid comic book guy. He's a Marvel man. Um, so I was brought up around Marvel. I know a lot about Marvel heroes. I know a lot about history, um, but I don't necessarily, I didn't grow up reading the comics. It's not something that I had a deep interest in. I, I watch Marvel movies and I find them interesting. I find them fun. I watch them casually. Um, the first PG-13 movie I ever saw was a Marvel movie. It was X-Men, the first one. I think I was seven years old. Um, it was... Some people, I don't know, that wasn't a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That didn't exist then. But um, it was still the fact that the first Marvel movie I ever saw, the first PG-13 movie I ever saw was X-Men. That has to say something. Um, my favorite comic book movie is a toss-up between Batman 1989 and The Winter Soldier. Um, the original Batman is, well, I classify it as the original because I've never seen, like, the 1960s versions or whatever, but, um, the original Batman, it's cheesy, it's, it's very... It's a relic of its time, but I still find it incredibly interesting, still fun, still funny. Um, and I think that it doesn't get enough credit. Like, a lot of people like The Dark Knight. A lot of people like, um, you know, well, I don't know if a lot of people like Christian Bale's Batman, but I know a lot of people like Heath Ledger's Joker. I like Jack Nicholson's Joker because it's, it's not, he's creepy, but not in a give me nightmares type of way. He's zany, he's weird, and I think that's cool too because he adds his own touch to it, um, but yeah, so that being said, my name is Naja, I'm an avid TV watcher, I have been watching television forever. <laughs> I think the first show that I was ever really a part of, of, the first show that ever grabbed my emotional attention was Glee, um, which, you know, kind of shows my age because I'm young, obviously. <laughs> um, Glee was the first show that made me appreciate really good television because when Glee was really good, it was good. It was funny, it had heart. I also witnessed its downfall, so I know what TV looks like when it's at its best and when it's at its worst. At its worst. Um, since then, I've been a little more keen as to when it's time to jump ship on a show. That's not to say that since then I haven't watched any terrible television. Anyone who's watched Twisted, the the doomed ABC family show will know for sure what I'm talking about. Um, right now I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. I'm watching Scandal. I still have to finish Daredevil season two, which I'm really far behind. Um, I have to, I'm going to be watching Flash season three. I'm excited about that. Um, I'll probably post a theory video about that soon enough. I don't watch any of the, of the other DC shows because Arrow never really grabbed my attention and neither did Legends of Tomorrow. 
I guess if I get enough people to convince me that it's good, I, maybe I'll decide to dip my foot in and see what's up. But as of now, I have no real interest in watching them. Um, I watch reality television. I watch the love and hip hop shows because I just like watching people make bad decisions. I watch, <laughs> sometimes I watch the housewife episodes because, you know, my mother watches them and I sometimes just sit in. I don't really watch them by myself and I couldn't tell you all their names because a lot of them tend to look alike. But, um, yeah. I like reality television. I just started watching Are You The One? I might go back and start watching the other seasons to see what's up. And I also watch... What do I watch? <laughs> um, um, I guess I don't watch as much TV as I thought I did. <laughs> um, I'm going to actually be watching Pitch next season, which has Twisted alum Kylie Bunbury. And I don't know, a lot of new shows in the fall seem really interesting and I'm excited for my new, for the new shows to start up, for the new seasons to continue. I'm just excited. So there will be future posts about them and I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I am very new to this, so you have to be patient with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.